Well, the whole purpose of having these hostages is propaganda from the Iranians. They are trying to leverage human capital and their individual misery against the governments that they are trying to focus in on. And, and, and I believe one current hostage is on death row with a, a death sentence uh, due to be uh, uh, executed at a certain point. Um, and there are others there as well, which Nazreen is absolutely doing the right thing of highlighting the need to help these people. So it's the Iranians that our ire should be focused on and what they are trying to do. Yeah. Uh, by the way, is it um, grist to the mill for Boris critics that he made that gaffe in the first place? Is it an example of the Prime Minister n not having an attention to detail and being very flippant about his job? No, look, politicians can make mistakes. Many do, and they acknowledge them. But was it classic okay. Boris to, to make that gaffe? I, 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 don't, I don't think so, because what it also does is... He acknowledged that he'd made a mistake, but what he did do was remain absolutely focused at the problem in hand, which has probably eventually led mm. to Nazarene coming He's back. He's the prime minister that freed her. And well, I, well I, you know, the, the credit is to probably a lot of people who've worked very hard at there, okay. but he has to keep it at the top and, of the political and, agenda. And, and, you know, Boris Johnson, prime minister, on his watch, and, and of course the foreign secretary, Liz Truss. Yes. And, and perhaps the, the Labour MP that represents Nazarene Zagari Radcliffe as well. Yeah, uh, MP Tulip uh, Sadiq. Sadiq, yes. Yeah. Uh, well, they've They've all played a part, but I'd say the Foreign Secretary and what the Prime Minister have done, and obviously a lot of civil servants and diplomats in the background, there's a lot of effort put in to make sure that she's come home safe. Uh